Every year on July 3rd and 4th, NT Lawyer from Crazy Days and Nights reveals a bunch of blind items and I'm going over the best ones. Here's a really crazy one about Ghislaine Maxwell and the start of Jeffrey Epstein's blackmail business and how they use the royal family to lure in underage children. Almost 30 years ago, the madam slash procurer started really building her resume as someone who knew what to do to get underage kids to a place where they could be abused and then capture evidence of people abusing them to be used against the abusers at a later date. It was at an event nearly 30 years ago that gave rise to the unalive billionaire, Jeffrey Epstein. No, they had not worked together yet, but it is what the madam and procurer and her dad, Robert Maxwell, gathered that day that put so many people on the hook. The event was naturally a Disney-themed event. It took place at the homestead of a lord, and this is the Marquess of Bath, Alexander Thin. This lord just so happened to pass away during COVID, but left a legacy of debauchery. At one point, he had nearly 100 women on his payroll that he slept with, in addition to his wife, of course. These women were given cottages on his land to live and to entertain his friends on an as-needed basis. Most of them were also wired for sound and video. The lord enjoyed watching. He also had a love of adult videos, most of which he made himself or commissioned through one of the hundred women. What a perfect place to invite a bunch of underage girls and boys and then to get everything recorded to use later. It made perfect sense, of course, then to have the tabloid owner, Robert Maxwell, and his daughter, Ghislaine Maxwell, have their Disney party there. The names of those attendees were the foundation of the unalive billionaire's blackmail business, Jeffrey Epstein, and also one of the reasons the tabloid owner, Robert Maxwell, ended up unalive.